a chemical demonstration of absorption, adsorption, and solidification. Absorption, adsorption, and solidification are three processes responders may use to limit the spread of a liquid hazardous material, aid in the physical removal, and or reduce a liquid's chemical ability to vaporize. In hazmat emergency response, we define absorption as the process of physically soaking up a liquid hazardous material to prevent enlargement of a contaminated area. Common absorbent materials include sawdust, clay, and commercially available sorbent pads, pillows, and booms. In contrast, adsorption is a process in which the hazardous material interacts and binds physically or chemically to the active sites on the surface of the adsorbent material. Adsorption can also be used to limit the size of a contaminated area and aid in decontamination. If the adsorption process is chemically driven, it is possible that heat of a reaction will occur. Common adsorbents include activated charcoal and some types of silica gel. In this illustration, the absorbent material soaks up the contaminants and swells in size and volume. The contaminants move into and distribute evenly in the absorbent material until it is saturated and cannot hold any more. As seen here during adsorption, the contaminants adhere to the surface of the absorbent material rather than soaking into the material. This adhesion may be weak physical attraction or stronger chemical bonding. If the adhesion is physical attraction, the contaminant may eventually be released. Solidification is a process in which a contaminant physically or chemically interacts with the solidifying material. The resulting solid is actually safer than the liquid and is easier to handle and dispose of. As you can see in this still photograph, the pad quickly soaked up the water and the oil into the body of the absorbent material. This specific type of pad may be referred to as universal since it will absorb all liquids. As with all hazmat response equipment, chemical compatibility is a concern. Chemical compatibility of any response equipment and supplies must be evaluated before use. In this demonstration, only the oil is retained by the pad while the water falls away. The oil is stuck to the outer surface. This initial adhesion of the oil is adsorption. Given enough time and contaminant, this pad may also soak up oil, demonstrating absorption as well. The solidifier used in this demonstration has gelled the liquid materials in the cup. 
The main advantages of this process allow a responder to quickly contain a small spill and make it easier and safer to handle.